Okay, talk about NX Fundamentals, new file open dialog. So with the new file open dialog, you will notice as soon as you open this dialog in 1926, the interface looks uh, very familiar. It looks like most other uh, Windows 10 file open dialogs now. The interface has been revamped to uh, further enhance and integrate it with the Windows 10 operating system. So if you look on the left-hand side, you will notice a directory location now. And in the directory location, you can quickly access all of your different directories to open up all of your NX files from. In the center, you'll see the traditional file location. So all your file names will appear in the center area there. Off to the right, you will see a preview pane. The preview pane will also offer uh, a couple different options depending on the type of file that you select. So in this case, you can see in this demonstration, there's a linkage sketch drawing file that's selected. So there is a preview 3D model option with a drop down arrow there. And below, if you do select that, you will have an additional option to view the drawing sheets as well in the preview pane. So depending on the type of file you select from that list, you might get a different uh, option on that drop down or there not, might not be an option at all. Uh, down below, you'll see the new work part location button. This is a brand new feature. When you select this button, it's going to open up the work part directory of whatever part that you have currently as your work part in your NX session. So it's going to navigate right back to that directory where that work part currently resides. Next, you have your new assembly load options button location, which is at the center, lower center of that uh, open dialog box, relocated from the lower left hand corner to that center location. On the right hand side of that, you will see a new text description of current load options. So you can see set to minimally load components with lightweight display displayed in text here. And that's going to give you a preview of what your current load options are set to for your assembly load options. And of course, down below is your file name of the file that you've selected. And then over on the right, uh, to the right of that is going to be your file type selection drop down. So you can select that arrow and pick all your different file types if you want to go ahead and search your directory based on those file types. Once you've selected your part and your assembly load options are correct, just go ahead and hit OK and that's going to open up that part or that assembly in your new NX session. Okay, so let's jump into our demo for the fundamentals, NX Fundamentals 1926 here, and take a look at uh, some of the new features here. So if I go into the file open, we'll take a look at that new file open dialog box here. As you can see, it's an updated interface, much more modern. We have on our left-hand side the directory locations. So that directory pane is over here on the left-hand side. And the center is our files. Right-hand side is going to be a preview. So if I select one of these parts, you can see I get the preview of the part. Uh, up above, you can see on the preview drop-down, there's an additional option here to show the sheet for this particular type of part. As this is a drawing file, I do have a sheet in there as well as a model file uh, in this case. So I can see those two different options. Depending on the file you select here, you might get a different result and you might not see that drop down there. So it's all dependent on the file selected. Uh, down below, you can see we have the work part location currently grayed out because I don't have a part open in my session. So let's go ahead and open up the flange part. And I'm gonna jump back into that open dialog box again. So once we do get back into this open dialog box, now you can see the work part location is active, this button. If I select this, it's going to take me back to the work part directory. So if I go out to my desktop, let's go out to that desktop. And if I want to quickly navigate back to the work part directory, which is the part that's open now, I'd select the work part location button, and that's going to put me back in that work part directory. The options, uh, assembly load options icon or button is over here, the next button over to the right. So that's going to open up your assembly load options. Inside the assembly load options, you will see under the scope category here, the structure only has been moved or relocated to this location. So it is no longer down here on the open dialog box. So just remember if you want to change that or set that structure only load option, that's going to be inside your assembly load options access via the options button here. And again, you have access to all those different assembly load options as well. You can customize inside the assembly load options dialog box. Uh, over to the right of that, you can see a set to minimally load components with lightweight display. So this is a descriptive series of information here, and it lets you know right off the bat, if you look over, glance over at that, you know what your assembly load options are currently set to. 
So that is your new open dialog box, file open dialog box. Once you do select the part, part name will show up in your file name portion here. And you can also uh, pare these down or filter the file types down over here with the part file drop down or the file type drop down. Okay, so that is your file open dialog box. Let's cancel out of here. Next, we're going to take a look at that. Uh